turns out the Busan bus terminal is nowhere near the city. I've got to get on the metro for an hour now. Right, I'm in Busan. First stop is to find some lunch because I haven't eaten yet today. It's already lunchtime. Here we are, a nice little bib and bat joint. And um, a bit, bit different this time in Busan. I don't have a hotel book. I um, just dropped my big bag in, um, in the storage locker at Busan Station. Just got my small bag and that's it. Got a tent, gonna find somewhere to camp out tonight, at least for a night, and um, see how it goes from there. this stone pot bib and bag you get that crunchy rice like paella But the priorities are to um, yeah find somewhere to sleep and um, Tottenham are playing the mighty Lily Whites are playing um, Wolverhampton Wanderers later on. Oh, there's a little stoat off it off. Well, there are some spots just down here. It would be nice to stay right in the city um, rather than having to go to the beach or somewhere. But, um, hmm. I would be worried about people just seeing me. But I don't think it's gonna be a problem, really in Busan and uh, I think the rain's gonna die down for the next few days so yeah well as I suspected there's plenty of um, places I can camp around these beach areas so I can just rock up here later, no worries.
and uh, yeah, that's it. Well, it is nice to be back at the ocean. Um, Busan is a lot bigger than I thought it was on the map. It took me about an hour and a half to walk here from the bus station area. But um, I think I'm not going to go to the pub. I'll just watch Tottenham in the 7-Eleven or something. And um, yeah, just spend the day here and then um, head over inland in the evening to watch the football. Looks like a rough, rough cat. His tail's been bitten off and looks very wary. Yeah. I'm on this little island off Busan. Pretty nice, really. Lots of greenery. Quite hilly. Beaches everywhere. Look at that for a little spot to watch the football. No phone charger, unfortunately. 7 Eleven has chargers, but look, I love how the supermarkets have loads of seating. Right, well I'm going to grab some dinner. I think I fancy a burger. I'm not really in the mood for Korean at the moment, so I think it's a fast food joint down here. <laughs> Oh yeah. No ketchup with the fries. Don't know if it's a thin. Sweet and spicy. Well, my online stream hasn't isn't isn't connecting to the football yet. So um, and it's starting to rain. Um, I don't know if any pubs around here show it or will be showing it. Spicy snacks are available. Some spicy Doritos. Late night Galbi chicken Doritos. All right, let's give them a go. Seem to be popular. It's my setup for the footy. Cash 
she was like, goodbye. Now I'll be drinking these in the corner of the store, sorry. Let's see if I've got a stream. I don't know what the 7-Eleven drinking culture is like. Seven thousand six hundred one for two beers and snacks. You'd pay one that for one beer in pubs around here. Let's see if the stream has started. I had a vision of like getting drunk with some local Korean Spurs fans, and but I don't know what the sports pub culture is like here so this is the more cost effective alternative as match week three kicks off with Tottenham against Wolves the chance of the host to extend their unbeaten start against the Wolves side looking for that first win of the Cass is really sliding down nicely. Oh yeah. Same old. So frustrating. Every time expectations rise, Tottenham will... it's nil nil, but you can tell it's not going to be a great season. It's just flat. I thought this time was different. Every time I think this time's different. Going up for a second round in. What is essentially a news agent is quite awkward, but here we go. Hey. <laughs> right, um, it's quite a good session beer, Kaz. I'm only going to get another one, I think. Mm, yeah, one's enough for the second half. There's no toilet, obviously, in this supermarket, so they need to pop out some stage. Here we go, come on Tottenham. Well, not the best game, the type of game I like to watch on my own because it just was a bit rubbish, but three points for the mighty Lily Whites. Oh, the 508. Yeah, Sun Hyung Min, the um, North, uh, <laughs> the South Korean uh, captain, plays for Tottenham, and they came on pre-season a few weeks ago here, and um, they went absolutely mad for him, for everyone, really.
I want to get involved in that at some point. Greeny! Greeny! Bus driver's thinking, what, what's he getting up here for? There's nothing here. Well, there is, mate. There's a beach here for me. Um, yeah, it's raining, but not too much. If you are going to camp in the rain, Pebbly Beach is it, because it's not going to get wet and muddy. Okay. Muddy hill camp. Oh, there we go. Twenty four hour toilets right by the beach. It's the kind of thing you'd get in Britain before the country went to the dogs. Loads of public services like that. Public toilets everywhere, libraries open. Then the public sector shifted to uh, from service delivery to service management. Everyone moved to the back office and um, the cost just spiralled. And then you have this weird thing where like a kid would slip over and hurt his leg and then there would be a big public inquiry, the Barcroft inquiry, and it would take three years to to write and loads of public sector money and then they'd have 10 like recommendations at the end of the massive report so the councils would have to introduce these spurious roles to their thing like you know quality management officer and integration manager and then and then they wouldn't they wouldn't know what they were doing so then the consultants get brought in charge big bucks and then they would have to think oh how do we we're, this is out of control, we're spending too much money. And then they end up like turning the street lights off an hour earlier and just like closing public toilets. It's all a mess, fortunately. Back in my homeland, but um, I don't know. Right, here we go. <laughs> there is something just wonderfully liberating and empowering just having what I need on my back and my only fear in this world is the cold I really don't like the cold and I'm not cold tonight and I've already got a good camp under my belt last week Ooh. all right let's let's prioritize safety shall we Oh yeah, that's what we want. That is what we want. Mulch, mulchy. Ain't gonna work, you know. It's not a freestanding tent. 
this tent is not suitable for pebbles or loose terrain. You need to peg it down to keep it taut. So, not a viable camping option. Not the best, not the best roll up I've ever done. All right. It's annoying. I imagined it just being a freestanding tent, but now I think about it. Trying to get it taut when I did my first camp the other night. Took a lot of adjusting on the pegs, so now that I think about it, no, it's not a freestanding tent. Fortunately, it needs solid ground. Hey, what's this? What's this? Corruption of wood, decay of timber. Um, I think I can live with that, to be honest. sure the coast is clear here. So I am very sorry to the relevant Korean authorities. Is that a police car or a taxi driver? I think it's a taxi. I am very sorry. You've been very good to me, Korea, but I, my tent is not freestanding, unfortunately. And this timber seems pretty decent. Yeah, this is, this is very solid. has been some damage to some beams over there so fair enough for their intervention but this will be fine tonight That's it. It's not many bugs.